is the first summit, the first summit of the ASEAN GCC, which is uh, extremely important uh, because the GCC countries and the ASEAN member countries uh, really uh, comprise the two most vibrant economies, regional economies uh, in the world today. And for them, for us to join forces, for us in ASEAN to join forces with the GCC is a very significant event. And uh, uh, we look forward to very many things that we can do together. And uh, in the same, at the same time, uh, the, the countries in the Gulf states are all also uh, looking for assistance, for help, for workers, not only workers, but also for trade, for business, for investment. And that's what we, that is what we were able to talk about. Uh, and uh, I think that the, the future is bright for this partnership between uh, the Gulf states and the ASEAN member, member countries. And, uh, there is a uh, there is a very clear understanding, especially um, amongst the Gulf states, the, the leaders of the Gulf states, that uh, in this uh, globalized uh, economy, it is important to continue to uh, make uh, these arrangements, make these agreements, so that we have a very strong basis on which to from which to transform our economies and from which we can from which we can grow um, at the same time well in in uh, on the bilateral side that we were and the reason that many of the our economic uh, managers are here with us on this trip is because uh, we have the there is a change um, in the especially in in uh, saudi arabia uh, upon, upon talking to the Crown Prince, Crown Prince MBS, he was, uh, we have a very, the, the, they are very interested not only in, uh, uh, of course, getting the increased, uh, increased contractors and laborers and uh, health and pr professional skilled workers, mga engineer, mga hinahanap nila, you uh, know, mga, mga arkitekto, yun, uh, mga hinahanap nila dahil marami talaga silang itatayo. Um, but it is not only a one-way street anymore. Uh, we need to also, we would like to also go to the Philippines and uh, invest and do something in the Philippines. Uh, unang una, napaka, napaka simple and it's a little, uh, na, little obvious. Eh, yung aming proposal, sinasabi namin, dahil halos lahat ng pagkain dito sa Saudi Arabia ay imported. Uh, kakaunti lang ang kanilang agro-arable land na uh, kung tawagin at uh, uh, mahihirap na si hirap sila sa tubig. So ang mga sinabi, ba't di kayo mag-invest na uh, mangapital kayo doon sa Pilipinas at magtayo tayo ng mga, na, mga gawaan para sa, uh, para sa pagkain to, to, to process foods, halal foods, but specifically for Saudi Arabia. Uh, and that will bring jobs to the Philippines that will also increase our food supply. Uh, so these are the kinds of uh, uh, things that we have been talking about. Also in the finance, in the, finan in the uh, financial instruments that they, are, uh, they have been presenting, but we have to talk to them more about that. We, didn't, we, went in the, we did not have enough time to go into detail, but uh, again, that is a prospective area. Uh, one of the areas that the Saudi Arabia is, uh, has been very active in is actually in the development of renewable, uh, renewable energy uh, because uh, they have a very forward-thinking uh, leadership and uh, they see that uh, uh, they would like to diversify their, their uh, economy. Uh, from, they're not just dependent on, on petroleum products and uh, to increase their uh, to, to increase the stability of their economy and not so dependent on just one one commodity uh, so these are the, and of course we reintroduced to them the uh, Maharlika uh, investment uh, fund and that was uh, the, 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 that has proceeded very quickly uh, and we have gone into we have already started with detailed talks uh, with the PIF, which is the equivalent here in uh, Saudi Arabia, it is their investment fund, uh, and how we can do, how we can work together. And it is not only Saudi Arabia; it is all, it is also other the other Gulf countries who have expressed an interest. I, I am, I am very encouraged and uh, quite uh, happy by the fact that uh, 
the uh, the the reaction uh, that we got from our partners in Saudi Arabia and in other countries uh, has been uh, very uh, very encouraging at gusto talaga nila na magkaroon na uh, tumulong at uh, makilahok dito sa ating investment dahil naman eh, may, may pinaipakita naman natin na magandang investment talaga para sa kanila ito. So we will so uh, the, the the concept of an investment fund, the sovereign fund for the Philippines is uh, is uh, growing even more attractive, ever more attractive as we go uh, down the road and we talk to more of our of our uh, prospective partners when it comes to the sovereign fund and uh, I'm uh, confident that uh, uh, once we get it operationalized, once we are able to uh, uh, start uh, talking in detail with uh, not only the investment funds but even private corporations and other governments as well. And uh, that, is, uh, that is precisely the role that we have envisioned for, for the uh, Sovereign Fund, the Maharlika Fund, and that is uh, uh, what the direction that it has taken. And again, our partners have, become, uh, have been very, very uh, 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 encouraging in the reaction to uh, what we have presented to them. Uh, I also am happy to report uh, that today, this morning, on a very, from a, a very, I was just asked, after Nasa Plenary Hall we were making speeches, we got a message from the Crown Prince of Kuwait. Uh, sabi niya, can we have a quick chat uh, for uh, just three to five minutes? He says it won't take very long. And we said, oh, of course. And I spoke to the Crown Prince and sabi niya, hindi niya gusto yung nangyari between Kuwait and the Philippines. That he disagreed with uh, what the people were doing. He says, he says that uh, this, this um, salitan and the words that he used were, do not listen to them. This comes from small people. I do not agree with what they have been doing. And in fact, uh, as he said, there is no reason for you to apologize to us. Like, don't you nang hinihingi sa atin, mag-apologize tayo sa kanila. And sabi niya, as a matter of fact, I will apologize to you, sabi ng Crown Prince, dito sa nangyari. We will fix it and we will make it because we love the Philippines. And he says, because I remember your father. Sabi niya, he always supported Kuwait. He always supported us. And, the, and the, I know that you will always also support us. That's why we will fix this. So naayos natin, mukhang maayos natin yung problema sa Kuwait. Yung mga ban na ginawa natin, na pagkakapila. Dahil eh, malakas ang loob ko magsabi, dahil kausap na natin yung Crown Prince. Eh, at wala nang uh, siguro. Eh, I don't think there is no, uh, that is as, as high an authority as you need to uh, resolve all of these issues that, uh, that have arisen over the past, uh, uh, past months. So uh, that is uh, uh, sinasabi ko nga sa ating mga kasamaan that uh, uh, ju just for that, worth it na itong naging biyahe natin dahil naayos natin yung problema sa so, Kuwait which talaga sumasakit ang ulo namin kung paano namin gagawin. But uh, uh, that is one of the, that is one of the, uh, the, the uh, shall we say, uh, successes that we can we can record from from this trip. The other, the other is the uh, agreement with uh, Saudi Arabia that not only will they continue to hire Filipinos uh, at every level in their work in in, uh, in the workplace, but uh, also that they will come and the work. Uh, uh, do a lot of work in the Philippines and uh, they will invest in the Philippines uh, so that uh, they can return because ang, ting ang tingin talaga nila sa atin is that they thank us <laughs> for, for, for helping them uh, 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 transform and to progress their, their economy at uh, talaga naman may, we, have, we have played a very large part. Uh, yesterday, we had a very good roundtable meeting uh, with the uh, Saudi uh, corporations in the different the different fields, the logistics, energy, agriculture, digitalization, uh, and again uh, we had uh, had presented the Philippines. We presented the sovereign fund, and we uh, we. Uh, we started to explore what are the things that we can do together. Uh, the uh, minister uh, of uh, what Tawag uh, Nila is MISA, which is the Ministry of Investment Saudi Arabia, uh, was very helpful because 
yung minister nila spent one year pala nakatira sa Pilipinas. He was working with Petron uh, for one year. He brought his family there. So napamahal siya sa Pilipinas. And he was, he was very, very helpful and very, very encouraging. And he was really trying to bring together uh, the, our, our plans and uh, how, they, how they can be part of it. And uh, uh, that was also a very productive, uh, very productive meeting. Kahit mabilis lang, uh, yung, it, it, it's in the, much of many, that there, is, there are many things that are, that are done. Uh, that are not in the plenary hall, that are not in formal speeches, but uh, on the sidelines. Uh, and that's one of the things that uh, I think is, uh, again, uh, has, been a very good, uh, has been a very good thing for us. And it is now, again, as, as uh, I always say, we have these trips, that uh, it is uh, up to us now to follow this up, to develop these uh, ideas, to explore what will work in the Philippines, to see what is appropriate to, uh, to, for the Philippines. And uh, uh, we will, that is what we will now begin to do uh, when we get back uh, to, uh, to, when we get back to the Philippines. Uh, we uh, also signed the, uh, uh, a memorandum of, of understanding, MOU, right? Yeah, with, uh, between EEI and a uh, employ a, uh, a large uh, uh, not only recruiter but they they are they they bring they bring workers uh, from the Philippines uh, to uh, to Saudi Arabia and marami talaga silang gustong kunin